Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the story. On paper, 35 year old gangster Barry Harvey was supposed to be playing football in the Scottish Championship or maybe playing in England in League One or the Championship, commanding decent money. Money to live a very modest life. Now playing at youth level for Patrick Thistle up until the age of 15, Barry Harvey was described as disciplined, meticulous and also a leader on the pitch. These skill sets were carried over into his new profession that was hazardous and dangerous and of course that occupation being as a feared gangster and hitman responsible for at least two murders that being Gary Moore and also Scott Bennett and also a few attempted M's as well. Now as I said up until the age 15 Barry had no interest in alcohol or gear however once Barry's flourishing football career was over Barry took to drink and alcohol like flies to you know what. In 2007 Barry Harvey was jailed for nine years after he had stabbed Thomas McCain after a short chase that was fueled by and amped by alcohol. Now the incident took place in 2004 but Barry was jailed for the incident in 2007. Now Thomas McCain was tripped and then he stumbled. Barry is said to have grabbed Thomas from behind and then with a sweeping motion thrashed about with the blade. Now Thomas McKern was stabbed multiple times in what the judge and police both called brutal and near fatal incidents. Now Thomas lost two thirds of red due to the incident and it was only by a miracle that the young man survived albeit with life changing injuries. This was the first real time that Barry had looked at himself and thought you know what I have a knack for causing real harm to people and I'm sure I can take a life. Now Barry already had a reputation for being a footballer but when the attempted M made the headlines his reputation skyrocketed and local gangsters were trying to recruit the madman. Now at some point Barry Harvey caught the attention of notorious gangsters and crime bosses James and Barry Gillespie whose criminal empire had once spanned the globe. Now the two brothers had fed Barry's egocentric ego which was fragile by telling the Glasgow man that he was like family, the gangster quickly became an enforcer, then a hitman powered by the fact that he was backed by such a large and dangerous entity. He loved the attention, the power, the respect and the loyalty it commanded. It also came very easy to Barry Harvey. Now Barry Harvey was described as top dog and as a top dog Barry Harvey assembled his super gang. They consisted of Thomas Goofrey who was actually infatuated and idolised Barry Harvey and acted as a getaway driver in a lot of the M's and also Darren Owen. On September 6th of 2018 Barry Harvey demanded that Neil Anderson get gym owner Gary Moore to leave his Airdrie property so he could be caged over a drug debt to the tune of £100,000. Barry Harvey was paid to complete that hit. In the weeks leading up to the M, Neil Anderson and Gary Moore had often spoken on Gary's front doorstep. On certain occasions, Gary was shown to have his head in his hands and showed signs of paranoia and fear. CCTV showed the moment that Neil Anderson had exited his thrifty van and then knocked on Gary Moore's door, which was heavily surveillance. And Gary Moore answered the door and then greeted Neil, who was eating a bag of chips, as if it was the most normal thing in the world. The two men laughed and even greeted a dog passing in a BMW. Now in the background a white Skoda Fabia being driven by Thomas Goofrey and Barry in the passenger seat. Barry exited the car and then stormed towards Gary Moore who at this point had his hands up in the air in shock and then to protect himself as he quickly noticed that Barry had armed himself with a pistol and it was pointed right at Gary. Now CCTV actually showed Neil Anderson backing away from the scene, completely unharmed. At 10 minutes past 8 in the evening, wearing a hooded top and latex glove, Barry grinned before pressing the trigger. Gary Moore was struck 9 to 10 times, head and body, before Barry walked away and went back into the scolder and was driven away by Thomas Goofrey. Now Gary Moore lay on the street in critical, critical, critical condition. He was quickly rushed to the hospital 
where he was soon pronounced dead as he lay in his sister's arms. Now please find the scolder which had been stolen on August 2nd from Pollock Shields and had its plates changed over. It was torched the same night at a farm in Baldenock, east of Bartonshire. Now after the M, Barry Harvey continued with his normal life. He travelled to Turkey for a new set of teeth. He brought a Rolex. He also purchased a new home and took his girlfriend, who was from the Mary Hill area, to Poland for a romantic holiday. Only three months later, Barry Harvey was back at it again, being a hitman. On the 3rd of December 2018, Scott Bennett, who had previously been jailed for four years, after he was caught with £50,000 in drug money and also large quantities of coke and weed, was lured to a Rufugan vets in what was described as a pre-arranged meeting. Now, while sat in his rented Peugeot van, outside tailored veterinary surgery, a BMW had arrived. As the BMW passed by, a person that was described as Barry is seen to have wound down the window and extended an arm out, grasping a pistol before pressing a trigger. Drug dealer Scott Bennett, who also dealt with dog, in the face, ammo lodging itself in the neck. Now, amazingly, Scott Bennett managed to drive himself out of the veterinary car park and across the road to the Blue Roop restaurant, where the van stopped to an idol and emergency services were called. Now, of course, Scott Bennett was taken to hospital and it was says that he was struck only one time. The shrapnel entered through the side of his face, passing through his teeth and tongue and then the jaw before lodging itself in the neck. He required emergency services. Ultimately, he did die from the injuries. Now, as for the BMW, it was found in Glasgow's battlefront the same day. And police noted that Thomas Goofrey, who worked as a labourer, was not at work the day the incident took place. And of course, he was deemed to be the getaway driver of the BMW. And in July of 2018, Thomas Goofrey and Barry Harvey are said to have walked up to lawyer 63-year-old Joseph Shields after leaving the Gallon and Cole solicitors. While at Joseph Shields' car, he was repeatedly struck to the head and body with a blade in an ordeal that is said to have lasted no longer than 10 seconds. Joseph Shields went to the hospital and he required emergency services. And of course, this was classed as an attempted M. Now, to give you an idea of how unhinged Barry Harvey was, it was not uncommon to turn on his own pals the same people he had committed an M with, and that being mainly Thomas Goofrey. Now Thomas Goofrey was struck with a bottle and left to scream and holler and wince in pain. A witness claimed that while standing outside, he could hear Thomas Goofrey scream and again overheard him whimpering, saying the words, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now, Thomas was taken outside to the balcony. In the same incident, Thomas Goofrey was struck with a claw hammer to the knees as well, and his trousers were shredded. In that incident, a traumatised Thomas Goofrey refused to call 999. Instead, what happened was, is he was driven to his mum's home. And still, Thomas Goofrey and Barry Harvey were still considered friends, because after all, Thomas Goofrey looked up to Barry and traded on association with the Hardman and Gangster. And this was classed as an uneasy bond. Thomas Goofrey wanted to just be like Barry Harvey. When Barry Harvey and the Super Gang appeared in High Court in Glasgow on Wednesday the 20th of March of 2024, they were jailed for a combined 59 years. Now Barry Harvey was jailed for 29 years in prison, Darren Owen was jailed for 22 years and Thomas Goofrey was jailed for a further 8 years but he's currently has a life sentence for committing his own M's as well. And of course, Barry Harvey was found guilty of multiple M's and multiple attempted M's, making him one of Glasgow's most dangerous gangsters and hitmen and enforcers. And it was a far cry from his humble beginnings as a youth footballer. Stay safe, safe.